It was also the only time that anyone has ever tried to check our tickets. We didn't have, so we missed our train. Small detour. All right, we booked the private beach. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Our hotel concierge. So my love. Now she's right here. Bro, you better not come home drunk, bro. Bro, you better, you better not come home at all after that. Is that it? Wait. How do we? <laughs> did we just go in a circle? Yeah, we definitely did. Wait, how did we do that? Were you guys at one point at the beach? Because I was like, the beach is close. Because they're in their shoes. Yeah. We were yeah, just down, down there, yeah. Oh, yeah. ah, okay, so this is how you get to the beach. Did you like turn left and go all the way around? I think we just did that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Kind of Porto Fino, yeah, the port. It's to the right and then like at the top. Okay, so, got you. Oh wait, you knew that though. All right, bet. Yeah. Appreciate it. <laughs> bro, we got. How do we go in a circle, bro? I found my love in Porto Fino. You follow me? You want to go out? You want a date? Hopefully they're not booked. All the other places have been fully booked. I forgot about reservations being a big thing here. Fingers crossed. In toes, and butt cheeks. Fifteen minutes too late. They are not open anymore, brother. A little bit of dessert before dinner. Got some ice cream. You got two, bro. You got two. You got black cherry, strawberry, and cream. Mm -hmm. I got two cream and vanilla with chocolate. Seeing all these things. Seeing all these things. Oh, there's a toilet. Oh, there's so many people here. A little bit has transpired since we last talked. We got food. Places were booked or kitchen closed, and then we got some one. They're out of pasta. So we got pizza. Look. <laughs> and we got um, mushroom and ham pizza. Pretty good. Uh, we got ice cream a second time because ice cream is ridiculously good over here. Gelato, excellent. <laughs> Everything's gonna taste worse when we go back. <laughs> now we're on the way back from Puerto Fino. We're gonna go to Santa Margarita and then we're gonna catch a train from there to Genoa. Be it bike, car, or by taxi, bus, and boat. Or walking. Show's walking. So we're gonna walk. I have low battery, so I can't do this too much. detour. All right, we booked the private beach. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, something touched my foot in the water, dog. I mean, <laughs> I'm staying still so she get over here. Look, guys, conquering my fear of the water right now. Water's really deep. Watch, watch, I even put a finger in. <laughs> I love this. Yep. Look at this. Huh? I don't know how good the sound is, so I'm, we're just gonna we're just gonna paddleboard for a little bit. Want to know how much it is? I'm starting a master class, a course, uh, how to travel the world, and be an entrepreneur, and just you know make your own time. And all right, we're we're stopping this. <laughs> The fish are jumping out the water. Y'all see that? Are those little dolphins? All right, we're putting the things back in. Time to go. Hey, little lady, need some help?
I have limited battery here. Well, funny thing, my bag has a lock on it at the top, if you can see that. And the key to that lock fell off. I broke it while I was paddle boarding, and I didn't realize until we got to the back, to the uh, to the shore, and uh, tried to open my bag. Uh oh, home taxi, saving battery. Okay, wish us luck. Out of water, out of battery, out of locks for our backpack, and almost out of time. All right, what's up, bro? Editor C back here with another explanation for y'all. So this situation was actually way worse during the trip than I make it out to be in the video. I don't want to make it seem too bad because at the time I didn't want Marilla to stress out because I mean that's the reason I planned the whole trip in the first place. So before we got here, I had planned out our way back by travel method and by the hour so that we could know what time we need to start heading back before the taxis chill out and the boats close, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And also before it was dark, obviously, because you know don't want to be out in a new place when it's super dark, especially if we don't speak Italian. But like I said earlier, Marilla wanted to walk instead of driving, which we did have time for so I was like cool let's do that so we walked down the coast between the towns and like you saw I lost my key to the lock on my backpack so I ordered the taxi which brought us here the reason why that's such a big deal is not only because our clothes are in there which yes from the point where we ordered the taxi to now on uh, we are in our swim clothes which is way worse for Morelli than it is for me my wallet is also in there my phone charger is in there and if you remember from a few videos ago I'm the only one with service aka the only one with the GPS in the new areas aka the only one who can order taxis aka the only one who can order train tickets you get the idea on top of that at this point my phone is at around 28 percent which isn't too bad because at the moment we're at the train station and we have a ticket so things seem well but you'll see why they weren't insane train back to our place some water some classic chips which i open upside down some paprika pringles forgot also that my wallet's locked in my bag so i can't even pay so she's having to do apple pay for now so we can tap to pay which thank god we can do that because that taxi we wouldn't be able to do proof of concept for the lock it's a well-made lock it's so secure i can't even get into my own so if everything went smoothly, it wouldn't be fun. My lips are trapped. Okay, bro, so I'm an idiot. The whole time we've been traveling by train, on the site you buy the tickets from, only two options for seating, first and second class. And there's three areas you can sit on the train. First class, second class, coach. So this whole time we've been buying first and second class, sitting in coach. And then at the end I started realizing, why are we buying these tickets if we're not even sitting in them? So I thought maybe that the, the coach part is free. That's what I thought. That's not true. And the one time I test that out is right now. I'm locked out of my backpack. We're an hour away from our hotel. My phone's on battery. I didn't bring a cable to charge it. <laughs> and we already missed our train. And that train was already delayed 35 minutes. And I tested it out. And I was wrong. It was also the only time that anyone had ever tried to check our tickets. We didn't have. So we missed our train. So now I had to take another train to a station called Rapolo. I'm going to try to say it. At 841, going from here to Genoa. Okay, so this is where the emotions hit a peak for me. Mainly um, stress, anxiety, um, fear. And again, I'm not showing that to Morelli, so I'm also by effect not showing that to you guys on camera. But basically what happened is that we waited for our actual train and we were not allowed entry because of the whole ticket situation I just explained to you. So I had to go and search for another way home and of course all the trains were booked up already. So I couldn't book any direct tickets to our hotel. So I'm at like 20% battery, no charger. I'm trying to scramble around to find a path to take different trains back home and end up finding a path that goes a bit out of the way. So where we are now is that out of the way stop. Right now we have an hour and a half left to go and it's already around nine o'clock. So now we're cut up. Update, we're on the train, on the way home. Masked up, cause you know we ain't playing with none of that COVID-19 2021 or 2022 or 2023 coming up here in a second, bro. You feel me? Where this train is going, from where to where? Oh yeah, the start. So we are, we got out in the middle. This train is going, from where we got on to where we're going is an hour. This train is going from Rome to France. Rome to France. Insane. All right, we are back in our city. We have one last hurdle to get through. Our hotel concierge. See if they let us get through without handing them our IDs. So I can't get my ID, it's in my bag. The key is in the room. Let's see how this goes, bro. I'm kind of nervous. Wish us luck, please. Mm -hmm. <laughs> About time, bro. Final hurdle crossed. We're back home. What a day trip. Wow. What's up, bro? <laughs> okay, we made it back. We're at our restaurant. We're getting Chinese food, steak, and pasta, and french fries, and gyoza, and water. And I'm wearing the camelback as well. Give them some ASMR. <laughs> Y'all are welcome. 
<laughs> uh, this is it for tonight. We're just gonna eat. Tomorrow's our last day in Italy, anyways. Made it this far in the video. Again, I always appreciate y'all for watching. I really do appreciate y'all for watching, bro. Because you don't have to do this, you know. If you're watching me, bro, I appreciate each and every one of you, bro. Don't mm -hmm. to especially, in fact, my favorite viewer. <laughs> Make sure if you watch it, you liked it, leave a like. It really does help. It means a lot to me. Subscribe if you like the content, want to see more content, uh, more travel videos or whatnot. You feel me? Leave a comment. Say what's up. And share it with, with your people, bro. But that's it. Signing out of here, bro. Take it easy. Peace. Yes, sir. Uh